Well, welcome back. We are grilling up recipe for success, growing from a single food cart in Manhattan to over 60 restaurants across the country and even more licensed locations overseas. Shake Shack is redefining fast casual dining. Just this month, the burger giant reported its total revenue increased nearly 42 percent. Revenue at $76.7 million. Joining us right now, the boss, CEO of Shake Shack, Randy Garudi, is here with us in studio, and he brought some treats from Shake Shack along with us. Good, good to see you, Randy. Good to see you, Murray. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. What a success story. That, How have you. you guys done it? You know, I, we were, you got to remember, we're born in a fine dining restaurant company with Danny Meyer here in New York City. And we were just busy running fine dining restaurants, and one day we decided to create a hot dog cart to support an art project with one goal raise money for a park. And years later, that became Shake Shack. And boy, we never thought we'd be sitting here with you today. Uh, and here we are. I think we just did it by creating an experience and undoing everything that fast food changed over the years. I love, and I was t t telling them in the break, that there is a regionality to, to the chain as well. That it's, and there's a particular, a frozen custard, it's concrete that you have down in Miami Beach and South Beach, and you put a slice of locally made key lime pie into it, and it's the most delicious thing that I've ever eaten in my entire life. So again, it goes back to the quality of the products, the quality of the food that you and guys are. And what we say, Dick, is the bigger we get, the smaller we need to act. And that means in every decision, whether it's design or food, when we're in Tokyo and Seoul and Moscow, London, all the places where Shake Shack lives today, we find the coolest, smallest artisanal baker who's doing something really interesting, the best chefs, we team up with them, and, and it's kind of the anti-chain chain. That key lime pie concrete, I can't, I cannot, <laughs> like my, I'm starting to salivate. We're going to buy them up. But again, it, it, but again, it's kind of an exclamation point on what they do. But I mean, you're... you're finding a real burger war at home, right? I mean, you've got all these burger joints coming up and trying to come up and, and uh, innovate, but you're sticking to your knitting and you're just, as Dagan says, putting some, some changes in specific locations based on that territory. But here's how we look at it, Maria. We didn't invent the hamburger. And we won't be the last ones to make a great one, that's for sure. Uh, but every time we put it together, I think Shake Shack puts it together in a package that is resonating with people. You know, you, you, now today we all have our phones, right? And we have to take every second and share with everyone. We all just did it on the break. I just said that on Twitter. <laughs> I did. And so what does that mean? It means you have to make a good decision about where you eat, who you're with, what you're doing. But you still need a good cheeseburger from time to time. <laughs> this is a small business at the end of the day. Let's talk about some of the policies you're hearing coming out of Washington. Tax reform, health care reform. Is this going to have an impact on your business? You know, hard to say what tax reform will mean yet. Uh, so we're watching very closely, obviously. You know, in theory, there's a positive impact that could come from tax changes for us. Um, but we'll see. Uh, when it comes to minimum wage, and, you know, we had affordable health care long before there was Obamacare. We take care of our team. That has been our number one focus. And I think by doing that, we've been able to grow around the world to over 130 shacks. And whether it's Lexington, Kentucky, where we opened last week, or, or Korea, our fourth restaurant in Seoul uh, the week before, I think if we take care of those things, you know, we're going to take care of the policies that the government gives us and do the right thing. I have a dumb question. Corn dogs, do you serve them throughout? <laughs> Get in the book. We tell you how to make them. Really? So you used to historically serve them only on July the 4th here at That's the right. shack. That's right. In Madison Square Park. Do you serve them in the... the throughout the chain? From time to time, we may surprise you with a corn dog weekend, but otherwise it's not a core menu item. Well, wait a second. How about breakfast? I mean, you're looking right. at growth in all different places. You're launching now a breakfast menu at your Madison Square Park location. Tell us about that. Today, we're launching at the OG Shack in uh, Madison Square Park. Uh, before that, we only did breakfast. <laughs> you really call it the OG Shack? Definitely. Our little 400 <laughs> square foot box is the, is the original where it all started. Okay. We only did it before at airports and train stations, but uh, we're going to test it out and see, you know, it's not our core business and where we're headed today, uh, but we figure why not learn a little bit and have some fun. But well, you got more. McDonald's in, in, in your site. What's the growth plan? So, so this year is going to be our largest uh, growth yet. We're going to do about 24 shacks in this country and about a dozen overseas. So we're accelerating growth every year, obviously, since we went public. Uh, and our go growth plan is to go get the premier A sites around the country, uh, urban, malls, pad sites, uh, and really just be the best burger joint in your neighborhood. That's what we're trying to be, a place where everybody gathers in a retail environment that is shifting by the second. You know, it's interesting to me, too, when you see McDonald's and other fast food chains really struggling because people are saying the trends are towards health, and yet you're growing at a rapid pace. What is it 
I was going to say, what is your secret sauce, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> we give you a version of it the, in the book. The shroom, you got the but, shroom burger. The shroom burger. We think life's about balance, right? And, and look, I eat a lot of Shake Shack with my kids every week and my wife. Um, you shouldn't eat a hamburger every day. When you do, make it a really good one. And ours is no hormones, no antibiotics, cooked fresh and ground fresh from whole muscle. So, you know, that's how we think about it. Enjoy the right stuff when you do it. And you've got a cookbook out today, released. And what's been the response from the cookbook? Are these actually the recipes that, these, that you're following in your stores? Yeah, these are the recipes. And it's, it's more than that. The book is about the story, how to, you know, business lessons we've learned, the story of our team members who came together and created this thing. Uh, it's, been, it's been wild for the last week since we, since we introed it. We're having a ton of fun. This is a Danny Meyer approach to hospitality, too. You just lead with service. You lead with service time and again, and you treat your employees well. That's it. Our, our goal is enlightened hospitality. Take care of our team first. Mm -hmm. And then and only then can we take care of our guests, our communities, and ultimately our shareholders. But one thing you just said, you said the retail experience is changing by the minute. Tell us about that. Those How? restaurants and retail, you see it happening. You see malls, B and C malls dying out. Uh, you know, our belief is that the only way to thrive as we are today is to give an experience. Uh, so you look at how the retailers that are changing are not experiential. The ones that are growing are giving you the best total experience. Uh, and we're doing that at Shake Shack for the humble hamburger. But you will see, I mean, you are seeing it already. You know, so much of the new dollars are going online, going to Amazon. Uh, and we've got to be a place where people want to come hang out for that Little League game or that date. Or It, it does night. work. I want to say something. Because we were at the Bellagio last yeah. week. I swear that Every single person I encountered who worked in that hotel, I don't care what job they were in, they were kind, they were, they were, they were, they were polite, service. they were whatever you need, thank you, and it, it's that kind of the service you get People at Shake Shack. People will pay extra for that. And if they exactly. feel like, you know, I want to go back to Shake Shack because I like the way that, that I'm treated there, that's exactly. what, well, as much as the burger. Now, about this shake. <laughs> what is in this shake? I can't tell you that. Well, that's all right. Because we've been trying frozen custard uh, all day, every day. You know, most shakes you get are, are ice cream that's been cooked, uh, that's been made a long time ago. We're making frozen custard all day, hand scooping and spinning by hand like it used to be done. Mm. All right, it's so good. You, saw, you had us at hello. Thanks. <laughs> the CEO of Shake Shack joining us. Good to see you, sir. Thanks so we much.